is what we're establishing here is the master grade rules for the Vision Lab Art leggings or pants. And it's a master, which means that we're going to use a, a one and a half inch grade and the breakdown of it would be an inch and a half divided by four because three eighths divided by four is three eighths which is three sixteenths an eighth and a sixteenth up top only because we want to maintain the con the continuity here of our slope our waist slope if it was straight at 90 degrees we could probably just settle with two movements of three sixteenths a piece so and that's our our X movement which is three sixteenths an eighth and a sixteenth this point right here where the center of the grain line is is actually our home point on the computer doesn't care the, the, the grading ruler it's important to know where your zero point is generally a ruler is starts at a, a lower end corner such as the end of the leg or at the top of the waist and moves clockwise around in this case we're using a sunny young speed grader which is the movements are zero point is going to be at the top of the waist and we're going to move in and out accordingly on the half and then we're going to go to the other side and move in and out on the half so it's made it's all graded on the half but since this is a one piece it's a mirror piece it's all combined we're combining them still we're moving them on the half this is our ground zero our x x zero is here and our y zero is in the middle actually it's actually at the crotch tip but we apply it to the the crotch center and below the knee in this case the pants has a zero home point again because it's the knee because after the below the knee we're going to use a variable grade which is just 3 16 times 2 actually but it's on the half so this side gets 3 16 and this side gets 3 16 so it's going to grow in and out accordingly so now here we go this is our movement and if we come over here we can see our machine this is our grading machine and right here this is our zero point right here and our zero point here this is our our Y movement and this is our X movement no, I'm sorry, take that back. This is our Y movement and this is our X movement. Sorry. Okay, now if you watch this, we start at zero right here. And we're going from, from small to extra small, which means we're going to shrink it. So here we go. We got our first movement is a 16th. We're going this way because this edge right here is going to shrink. Okay, first thing we're going to mark our home points here and here. We're marking them to be to show that these are this is the small points. So we're going to mark the corners. So the, in the stack they'll already be marked. Everything will be marked in the stack. Here's our knee. Go. So. 
Okay, now, to the extra small, we go in a sixteenth, one movement, right here. And we're moving this way. So we come this way, now we come to an eighth, which is two sixteenths. And then we come here to three sixteenths and go one, two, three, total three eighths. And then we mark this corner here, which is from small to extra small is three sixteenths. Then we continue down here and we come to our Y movement point right here. And we move that that way, which is to shrink it, we're making it smaller, a whole quarter. There it is. See right there, there's our quarter. Now we go ahead and blend it. Blend and draw. Then we come to our eighth. Now, this one's going to shrink. We're going out an eighth. We're going to continue down, trace it. Then we're going to come back home and go back. And that's that movement there. We're going to continue down on the three eighths. When we come to the knee, now we're taking everything back home, back to zero. Because at this point, we're going to do a variable grade. We're going to come here. When we get to here, we're not going to draw anything until we get to this point. But we're going to draw this, which is a quarter. Hmm. See, now that's something we can talk about right there. Because we're looking for a half inch total. Right? Mm -hmm. So mark that. But see, we're going to get to here. And we're going to go up a quarter. Mark the knee, and then we're going in three sixteenths. One, two, three, which is an eighth and a sixteenth. Now, here we go. Continue to draw, and then we have our new hemline here. Take it back home and move it the other way in. One, two, three. You can do it this way or not. You can all you can rearrange it and go all the way back to zero and then redo it when you come on this side or you can just draft it right here, whichever. Let's see, we can go all the way up. We've already moved everything, so we're just cleaning that and it's done. So your variable is already done below the knee. Now we can go back home and then repeat the other side. Draw it out. Here, right here, we go in an eighth again, which is going to take the whole thing to a half. But it's the crotch. And then we take it back to three eighths. And then continue. But then we have to go home again. And since we've already made, made our Y movement, we're already moved. So now we just go one, two, three. There it is, right there. Now we already marked.